Hey guys, it's Brian with Retired to 40. We haven't forgotten about the van build. The weather just really hasn't been cooperating. It's been winter time, but we're ready to make that next step. And today's step is gonna be a big one. <laughs> today's upgrade is going to be a rooftop tent. So we're gonna put this guy on here. So if you've been following the build from the beginning, one of the big upgrades that we wanted to do was a big pop-up tent. It was actually a custom job from a factory here in Colorado, but it was about $13,000. So we decided against that, instead of spending the $13,000, we're gonna take the extra and put that to use to lots of other things. So the rooftop tent that I selected is the best value for the money, so let's get this thing unboxed and see what comes with it. This is what I have found to be the best hard shell pop-up rooftop tent camper on the market, and it just happens to be one of the least expensive you can get it for under $2,000. I actually just got mine from Camping World. They were running a sale. They had 20% off. I got it for about $1,300. So let's get this thing unboxed and get it reviewed. So I like the hard shell for a couple reasons. Um, the first one being that because it's a hard shell, it's going to last a lot longer. It'll also sleep two adults. It's very low profile and you can, you can place it on any kind of vehicle. So as long as you have a rack on your vehicle, we could, we, could put, we could put it on our Subaru, I could put it on my van. If I ever get a different vehicle down the road, I can change it to that vehicle. It also sets up in a matter of minutes, which means you can also put it down in a matter of minutes. One thing that I can't stand when camping is taking half an hour or 45 minutes to get your campsite all set up. I like being able to roll in, kind of set up in a couple minutes and uh, get to doing whatever I'm gonna be doing. So I mentioned that it's low profile from the bottom of the camper to the very top is just about 10 inches, maybe a little less. And the other thing I really like about it is that it's lightweight. Two people would have no problem lifting this thing up onto a car, um, even a tall car. So now that it's here in front of us, I want to get the actual measurements of what this is. So the outside of the shell, it's about 84 inches long, and the width is gonna be about 51 inches. So one of the toughest things to do, and I'm kind of just winging it, is figuring out how to mount this on the roof. This is going on a ProMaster, and just about any factory van roof is not gonna have any kind of rack system uh, like an SUV would. So I bought something off Amazon, and we're gonna open that up and check it out and get that mounted right now. So my biggest complaint on this thing so far is that there's just no instructions. So you kind of just have to wing it, but hopefully with this video, I can actually help you out with that a lot. All right, I apologize for the wind. It's pretty windy out here today, but so the racks only took us about 10 minutes to put together and they go on really simple. They go on to the factory hardware, um, the factory Dodge hardware right there. This bracket goes here. These brackets slip over this, and then this will go on top of that, and they're ready to rock and roll. So part of the reason I chose these racks is you can see how low profile they are. I'm really trying to keep as low a profile as I possibly can because you start stacking the stuff on top of an already tall vehicle and it starts to get real tall real fast. All right, we're ready. I just need to figure out how to get this monster up on top of there. I'll put the weight of this thing right here just so you have an idea, but I, I think we're only gonna have two people. I think we should be able to get it on there. I'm not gonna lie, that was no fun at all. I would probably use four people if you could, because it's a beast trying to get it up there. And if you have a high roof, it's gonna be even worse. Um, it was, we did try at first to get it on the side and there, that was not happening. So the back is probably the best way. Make sure you put a blanket or something down. There are nuts that stick out of the bottom and they will tear up your roof for sure. These guys right here. But you can see even with the racks and the shell on, it's 
still pretty low profile. It's probably about the height of a Ram Pro Master raised roof right now. Um, and this is the low roof, obviously. So my biggest gripe so far is just the lack of instructions and the, uh, the know-how of putting this on here. I'm kind of having to learn as I go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up because I don't see any hardware. I'm hoping that it's inside of the tent. So I'm gonna do that next. So you saw how easy that is. There's uh, there's legs on each of these corners. They're spring loaded. So once you get it up just a little bit, it just wants to pop up. Uh, I'm not sure how putting it down will be, but the, the pop up part is really easy. So let's take a peek in here and see what we can find. Okay, so the first nice thing that I see about this is both sides of this have the same roll up that you can access the tent through. Um, otherwise, if, if you were limited to one side or the other, it wouldn't necessarily work. Like I only have a door on this side, so it's nice that I can, I can access both sides if I need to. Uh, and then this just rolls up. Let's get into the review part of this video. Let's take a look and see inside of this thing. So it looks like we've got some parts, luckily. We'll have to open that up down there. And then you can see there's another screen there. Here's the legs that I was talking about. They're spring-loaded, they're kind of a bow type, and they're in all four corners. Um, the construction of this canvas stuff is really nice quality. Uh, the, so the seams are really heavy duty. It should last a really long time. We'll have to test out the comfortability of this mattress. I wasn't actually expecting it to have a mattress, so that's actually just a bonus. And then there's another bag over here. And what I'm hoping it is, is a ladder. Let's take it down and see. All right, so here's what's inside of the shell. And these are real slick. And I'm glad this was in here because I actually bought another one because it doesn't say that it actually comes with it. So I would recommend that they say that in their description, but they don't. Comes with a nice storage bag too, which is kind of nice. But this is a telescoping ladder that's gonna hook onto the side. That is our mounting hardware. So you can see if this actually was high enough to reach, these hooks actually wrap onto here. Gives you a nice place to hook onto uh, so your ladder wouldn't go all over the place. And then it comes with a little storage pouch thing. I'm guessing that that hangs on one of the windows or something, that's kind of nice. And these, I would imagine, this is kind of nice too. I think this is probably to pull this down, to pull down the, uh, the shell when you're on the ground. We'll try those out a little bit later. We have this last box here. That's pretty cool. It looks like a solar, like a lantern for inside. Another thing they didn't advertise on the description, which is kind of crazy, but that's pretty cool. It's just char let it charge all day and then looks like you can plug it in and charge it too. So another cool thing that I just figured out, this is actually supposed to be a ladder rack that we used. And these things would go on either side. So it's actually kind of nice because it gives you a little extra security. So you can put this and snug up to the shell and then one on the other side for, uh, for each of these. And you just have a little bit of extra security that that thing's not going anywhere, at least side to side. So as far as install, it's actually pretty simple. Um, they've got, it's really hard to get a shot of. There are some slides right here and these will actually, it looks like these will slide into them and then you put some couple nuts on the bottom and do that all the way around and that's, that's all there is to it. So not that this thing is real hard to put together, but there's not a lick of paperwork in this entire thing. I can't even find a piece of paper anywhere. So I guess you're just, uh, you're either winging it like I am or you, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit if you're thinking about buying one of these. So I did figure out a way temporarily to make this ladder work. Um, I can drop these hooks down if I just slide 
something through here. I'll have to get something a little stronger, maybe a piece of uh, aluminum or something uh, or steel that will uh, beef that up a little bit. But that allows the ladder so it can't move. So it took me a bit, but I got everything lined up. Uh, you can see that I actually, where's my finger? That I offset this over to the passenger side. And that way I have easier access. That ladder will give us better access that way. So this side I think is where I'm gonna put, this side is where I'm gonna put my solar panels. And then maybe one on this side and then one on the very back behind the shell. So from what I gather, these little hooks will go into here and you can grab something and that way you can pull it down. All right, I'm gonna switch to the GoPro so you can get a wider angle of inside here. So here is the whole thing. You can get a better shot of it now. I'm gonna show you a couple things that I really like about this. The first is that it has a mattress in it, which I wasn't expecting. That's a really good thing. Um, the mattress isn't super comfortable, but it's better than sleeping on plastic. The second thing is that the whole top is actually insulated, which will help a little bit. It's not just a you know rough plastic or whatever. So that's kind of cool. And then it's got this cargo net thing up here. When this folds down, it will actually it's actually got some room in here, like a rocket box, like a Yakima rocket box or something similar to that. So you can actually store stuff in here when you're not using it. And one cool thing is you could put all of your clothes in here and it would totally save space inside your van, which for me, I have a small van, so any space that we can save is, is really good. It's also got two of these little storage pouches right here and the other one that it came with. We can hang that up somewhere else. The other thing I was a little bit worried about was that it would be too small for my wife and I. Um, I'm about 5'10", and I don't know, 170 pounds, and we shouldn't have a problem at all fitting in here. It might be a little bit cozy, but that's kind of camping in general. And the fact that you've basically got a guest room up here now uh, to keep all of your stuff separate and be able to sleep separate, then two other people in a small van is huge. I'm actually pretty impressed with the construction. It's pretty good quality. I didn't really know how decent it would be. So really the most important thing that you need to figure out is how does it sleep? And I've actually had a chance to sleep in it last night. So I figured out a couple things that I didn't necessarily expect that uh, were actually pretty beneficial. One thing that I figured out is that you can sit up in this, which is nice if you're adjusting during the night or you have to get up to go to the bathroom or something like that. It's, uh, it's really nice to be able to sit all the way up and, and do your thing. So my kids were sleeping in the tent down here last night, which made me realize one reason why I like the nice durable sides of this, because as the wind was whipping through last night, I could hear that sound of the tent. When you hear the kind of the crackle and crinkles of the, the tent material, whereas this stuff is a lot thicker and you don't get the flapping noise and just some of the little things that wake you up when you're camping sometimes. So the mattress wasn't too bad. I just had the mattress down and then just a thick sleeping bag. You can see the mattress is really not very thick. It's probably two inches thick. I would probably recommend bulking it up just a little bit. You can get little pieces of memory foam really cheap now. Um, but doubling up, doubling it up would make a world of difference, especially if you had something on top of that for, uh, for bedding. So I think there's only one more thing to do besides go camping and that's to uh, see how difficult it is to put down. All right, I'm gonna try and do this by myself and start the stopwatch now. So, not too terrible. Kind of have to take it a corner at a time. There's these little things that fasten it down. If you just get them started, that'll hold the other side from springing back up. Like I did the front first. And that way when I push the back down, it didn't want to pop back up in the front. Uh, one problem I have with my genius idea is this will not close now because of my, uh, my ladder rack right here. So I'm gonna have to take that out. I am gonna leave this lower one so I can keep uh, something in here to hold that ladder. If you've ever done a pop-up pole behind camper, it's very similar to that. You kind of have to tuck everything in and get it all in uh, one nice uniform thing. 
Well, that's it for me today. Uh, all in all, I'm, I'm really excited. It's gonna be great. It's, uh, it's still low profile, even with this rack on there. Um, it came with the ladder, which is awesome. It's good quality. Aside from not really having any instructions and just a few minor things, totally worth the money. It's one of the least expensive ones you can find on the market, especially that's a hard shell. You can basically get a hard shell for the same price as a soft shell. And the hard shell just it has so many more advantages than the soft shell does. And now that the weather's starting to get nice out, we're gonna keep uh, building away on this van. We're getting real close. So stay tuned for those coming up. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.